Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your kettlebell full body sweat workout. So in this workout, we will work your entire body for strength and cardio using just one kettlebell. This is a no repeat workout, so the only thing that we will repeat is the kettlebell swings, otherwise we'll get through it quick in just 20 minutes. All you need for this workout is one kettlebell. I'll be alternating between my 15 and 18 pound kettlebells today. Are you ready? Let's do it. So let's start just marching. Roll through those shoulders, to the back and to the front. You can march or jog, whatever feels good for you. Big deep breath in. We're just gonna get a quick dynamic warm up. We're gonna keep it pretty short because we're gonna keep this workout pretty short. Take it out to the side, just lean. So our goal is just to take a couple minutes to get the blood flowing, get the muscles warm, be working through those movements that we are going to do. Roll through your back flat down and round it up. So as I said, this is a no repeat workout. So the only thing that's going to repeat other than when we have to do right side and left side, which we will do that for a few different things, is the swings. So swings you're gonna do a couple different times. Walk your feet in, tap it up, reach across. So we will get those swings in a few times and that will be sort of our cardio power interval in between our strength. So everything that we're gonna do is going to build. So we'll start with one move, we'll add on once or twice, working our way up to those compound movements if you need to just stick with the base move or just pick one of the movements, that is totally fine. You work to your level, you be where you are today. I always say, you showed up today, you are successful. So I will give you different options, but as we add on to those compound movements, if you need to, you can keep with just one move or alternate between the two. Rather you have good form than anything else. Okay, so go ahead, grab your kettlebell. I'm gonna grab my 15, and we are going to start stepping out into a squat. So hold it by the horns here or here, whatever feels good for you. I'm gonna step out to my right, your left, drop it low. Here we go. So we're down and up, sitting low. I'm stepping to the side but I'm getting low into that goblet. So if you can, drop the hips below the knees. Breathe. One more. We're gonna add on right here. So down, push out, in and up. Sit low, hold it there, push it out. So watch me. You can keep it really small if that feels better or all the way out as long as you can keep good form. What we don't want is having it pull you forward. So if you want to go all the way out, just make sure you have good posture. Down, out. One more before we add on to that. Watch me here. So down, push out, in and up and knee. Down, out, up and knee. Or just pick one. Down, out, just that knee or just that press, four more. Four, and three, yes, two, last one, yes, relax. Give your hands a little break as we tap it out. Who feels that heart rate? So that's why we're calling it sweat, guys. We are going to get the cardio within those compound movements, right? So catch your breath, go ahead, grab that kettlebell. We're gonna do the exact same thing again. We're gonna start step out deep squat. We'll add that press out. We'll add the knee and the press, or just the knee or just the press. All right, are we ready? Catch your breath, step it out and squat. Here we go. Take it down and up. So really use this time to catch your breath. Take it low. And I know that heart is gonna stay pumping. And breathe. Remember, you're getting hips down. Goblet squat if you can. And up. Good, last one. 
add that press out to the front. So down, out, and up. Down, out, and up. Get low, push out. Remember what we're not doing is letting it pull us forward. So really keep it here. If you need to, you can make that press out really small. We're getting biceps, we're getting shoulders, we're getting chest. Two more. How's the heart rate? Last one. How about we add that knee? Down, out. You can do just the knee. Down, out. Just the press. Or all the way and up. Keep it going. Down, out, and up. Down, out. Two more. Yes. Last one. Oh man, good. Tap it out. Woo. Breathe. How about a quick sip of water after that one? Burn in the legs. Burn in those arms, biceps, shoulders, back to stabilize, and a lot of core, right? While we catch our breath, quick little core, standing low windmill. We'll start low, and then seconds, halfway through, not second set, because we're not repeating. If you want to take it high, you can. So turn that toe out, kettlebell low. Remember, we're going to drive that hip out. It's a stretch and a strengthener for that core. Here we go. Take it down, bring it up, nice and slow. This is where we really get to catch our breath, but we get a nice good stretch as well. Strengthener for that oblique. Keep it here, or if you want, switch it high. This is more your traditional windmill, but I always give the option of low. Sometimes this is tough on the shoulder, tough on the back, or just too much weight up top. So it's up to you. Last four right here. Four. And breathe. Three. Keep looking up. Two. Last one. Good. Relax. I put this in most of my kettlebell workouts because, again, it's a nice, good stretch, nice, good strengthener. Turn it other side. Take it low. Here we go. Reach and up, core's in tight. Down and up, breathe. And up, yes. If you want, take it high. It's optional, so again, if that feels like too much for the shoulder or too heavy of a weight, spot the bell, look it up, or too much on your back, just keep it low, same exercise, just different weight placement. Last four, four, and breathe. Three, two, last one. Relax, good. All right, switch that kettlebell to the other side. We're gonna turn, we're gonna come into a kickstand deadlift. So what that looks like, one foot forward, one foot back. Think of it as a kickstand, it's a little bend, and we're just gonna hinge. So you can do it with no weight if that feels better for you. Weight is in that front heel, if you can. Grab that kettlebell, zip up in the core, shoulders back, weight in that front heel. Here we go. Take it down and up. Woo, balance. Down and up. Shoulder blades back. You're hinging, bending at the waist. Slight bend in both knees, but that front leg is taking more of the work. We'll go four more. Four, just your deadlift, back of the legs. You should feel that hamstring and booty. Last two, don't forget about that core. One more. If you want, we're gonna add a row at the bottom, watch me. Down, row, and up. Down, row, and up. Down, and up, yes! There we go, keep it going. If you wanna just do the row, you can keep it low. And just do the row. You can keep it here. Take it up or all the way. Last one. Watch me. We're going to add one more thing. Hinge, row, curtsy. Hinge, row, 
curtsy. Again, if you want to just do, it's that curtsy lunge, down, row, and up. Four more. Four, and back. Three, all that controls in that front leg. Two, one more. Yes, good. Relax, shake that out. Before we get that other side, let's give our legs a little break. Watch me hinge it forward. I'm alternating wide. I'm going up and down, up and down. Flat back, alternating between the two. Wide row. We're just getting a little bit of just isolating of the back. Legs get a break. Four more. Four. Wide row. Three. Two. One. Hands get a break. Stretch out those legs. Pedal those feet. Awesome work, team. Other side. So get yourself in place. Relax that back for just a minute. Other foot forward. Kickstand. We're here. So still getting that heart rate up, but a little more isolated. Weight in that front heel. If you wanna just do it body weight, you can keep it here. If you can, grab that kettlebell. Shoulders back, staggered stance. Both feet are working, but front leg takes the weight. Here we go. Kickstand lunge, breathe. Take it down and up. Zip up in that core and breathe. Yes, four more, four, three, two, good. Let's add that row if you want. Take it down, row, and up, down, row, and up, down, row, yes. Remember, if you just wanna do the row, you can keep it here. Row it up, drop it down, bring it up, take it down, two more. Last one like this, how about we add that curtsy? Down, and low, down, drop it in that curtsy lunge, down. Remember, you can always just do one, Keep that chest low. I know it's tempting to come up because you're really feeling that leg. Three. Yes. Two. One more. Good. Relax, drop it down. Ha! Shake out those legs, shake out those arms. Whew. Who is feeling that? I know I am. Let's get a little core. And we're gonna finish it off. We're so close, guys. Kettlebell down on the knees. If you need to modify, you can stay on these knees, especially if you're pregnant, early postpartum, or you know you have ab separation, I want you to stay here. Keep that kettlebell out in front. Tap, tap, knee, knee. That's your modification. If you can, bring it all the way up. Tap, tap, knee, knee. Tap, tap, knee to the center. Tap, tap. If you want, jump it. You're still keeping it slow. It's a little hold, hold with your core. Tap, 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 tap. Good, so close. Four, knee. Knee, three, knee, knee, two, one. Yes, good, relax. A little bit of cardio. Oh man, you guys, we are so close. Let's take it to a swing. I'm gonna go with my heavier right in the center. If you've never done a swing, make sure you check out my how to do a swing video. Breaks it down. If you don't feel comfortable, you can just take it with a little two-legged deadlift, a hinge, that works too. Everybody else, let's power it back. Here we go. 
Cut three, two, one. Remember, it's not a squat and we're not arching at the top. Good, keep it going. I'm sweating, you can see it on my shirt. Full body sweat. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, good guys. Hang on to that kettlebell, hold it in the center. We're gonna get a couple more things in, watch me. Side lunge, step it up, nice and slow. Side lunge, step it up. Take it down, take it up, one more. And we're gonna add a diagonal curl, watch me. So curl to the hip, curl to the shoulder. Curl to the hip, curl to the shoulder. It's not too much twist, it's more a bicep curl. Take it down and up. One more level. And knee if you want. And knee. Good. Last four. Four. Still get low. Three. Two. One more. Good, I want you to hold it here. Eight curls, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good, bring it center. Stretch those thumbs back, give your hands a little break. We're gonna swing it again, catch your breath. I know you're tired. In these quick express workouts, we don't get a lot of breaks, right? Hinge it. Keep the deadlift. If that feels best for you, everybody else, roll those shoulders back. Ready, hike it. Three, two, good swing. So I know you're tired, but focus on that form. It's a power move, so we're going quick, but good form, hinge it back, power it up. My arms are getting the work, but they're not doing the work, right? Here we go. Eight, lock out in those glutes in those knees, in your back, in your core. Four, three, two, one. Pedal those feet. Let's get a quick sip of water, guys. We're gonna get that other side with that side lunge. I know, you were like, I thought this was no repeat, but everything was right and left side. Woo. All right, with that curl, starting with the side lunge, we'll add that diagonal curl. We'll finish it out, a couple things on the mat, and then that is it. Breathe, here we go, lateral lunge. Down and up. Use these first couple ones to get that form. Good, we'll add that curl. Remember, you're gonna cross to the hip, curl to the shoulder, so you're going across and up. And up. If you want, add the knee, a little bit of balance, a little bit of core. You're still going across and up, still hip to shoulder and still get low, even though I know we're tired. Four, three, yes, two, one more. Hold your curl for four, three, Two, one, bring it down. Ha, can we get one more swing? And then we're on the mat. All right, guys, I know that heart is pumping, but you can do it. Good form, good swing, hinge it here, power it up, breathe, take it up. Yes, good, keep it going, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, pedal those feet. Whoo! All right, team, bring it down. Come with that lighter one if you got it. Whoo! All right, 
So let's take it here. We're gonna start at the top. Just twist, twist. Modification, I want you to stay right in the center. Breathe. If you can, take it down, take it up. Twist, twist. Slow and control. Down, take it up. Twist, twist. Yes, down, take it up. Good, down and up. Two more. Good. Yes, last one. There we go, good guys. Bring it all the way down. I want you to take it up right here. Unless you need to modify, then we can take it in a bridge. But if you can, take it here, core's in tight. Here we go, little bend and up. So we got triceps. And if we can, tap them down. Bring it up. So triceps. And breathe. And up. Yes. Good. We are so close. I know. If you want, you can add a little lift. Bend and lift. Good. Four. Three. Two. Last one, just your triceps. Four, three, two, good, just your bicycle. Four, yes, three, two, one. Relax, turn it over, last thing. I know, 20 minutes for the actual workout. Couple minutes warm up, couple minutes cool down. Here we go. So we're here guys, on your elbows. If you need those to modify on the knees, just lift and down, lift and down. If you can, and out, and out. Lift and out, keep it going. Lift and out. Modification, you can just walk it out or a little squeeze, whatever you need to do. So close, finish it out strong. It's sweat. Breathe. Last four. Three, two, one. Relax, stretch it back. Ah, whoo. This is what I mean, guys, full body sweat. Big stretch, whoo. Breathe, ha ah, ha, here we go. You did it. Woo. I know that was tough. Sit back, stretch it here. We are not gonna do too much of a cool down. So please get more of a stretch on your own. Take those knees out. Woo. We move fast. We got everything in. I know the beginning felt a little leg heavy, but we got a lot of upper too. And breathe, a lot of core, a lot of cardio, right? A little stretch. Good. So make sure that you check out all of my other kettlebell workouts as well as my other playlist. I have kettlebell, dumbbell, TRX, bands, balls, prenatal, postnatal, no equipment at all. And then you can also search by body part or by length. Lots of short workouts in here. Breathe into it. Yes. And of course, if you are looking for a little more structure or more of a schedule to go along with these workouts, click the links in the description below. You will find information on my eBooks and programs. Those are just curated schedules and programs to go along with the YouTube videos. So if you're looking for something specific, you will probably find it there. Check it out as well as check out my nutrition guide. It's not a diet plan, no restrictions, no counting calories or macros. It's all about just building a balanced plate, gives you some structure, but with the flexibility. Take it here and breathe again. Stretch out those muscles more on your own. Thank you so much for showing up today and moving your body with me. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That helps me keep making completely free workouts for you. So hit that subscribe button. One big deep breath in. 
and out. You did it. That was your kettlebell full body sweat workout. Great job, everybody.